Hello Righteous, welcome to day 102 of 365 Days of the Righteous, your daily dose of righteousness, consciousness. Psalms 112 verses 5 and 6. A good man deals graciously and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he will never be shaken. The righteous will be in everlasting remembrance. We took care of the first part of these verses yesterday. A good man deals graciously and lends. And we said it is God's plan. And he has made provision for the righteous to have all they need and plenty left over to share with others. And that leftover is plenty in such a way that entire households are taken care of. Hallelujah. This is God's will for you. So you should be thinking like that, talking like that acting like that and it will surely be your everyday reality in jesus name hallelujah all right let's continue today with the next statement he will guide his affairs with discretion the righteous will guide his affairs with discretion now according to the miriam webster dictionary discretion is the ability to take responsible decisions it is the result of separating or distinguishing The King James Bible Dictionary, which is also a Webster's Dictionary, defines discretion as the discernment which enables a person to judge critically of what is correct and proper, united with caution. Hallelujah. Isaiah 11 verses 2 and 3. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. He will delight in obeying the Lord. He will not judge by appearance nor make a decision based on hearsay. This was a prophecy about Jesus, but it also applies to the righteous because the righteous is a joint heir with Jesus and the life of Jesus is the light of the righteous. Hallelujah. The life of Jesus is in the righteous. The spirit of God is in me. The spirit of God in me is the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And because of that, I do not judge by appearance or hearsay. I am led by the spirit. Romans 8, 14 says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Hallelujah. The righteous has the Holy Spirit as their advantage. Hallelujah. If you're a believer, the Holy Spirit is your advantage. So why try to figure out life on your own when you have the one who knows all things, past, present, and future living in you? Jeremiah 10, verse 23 says, O Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It's not in man who walks to direct his own steps. Praise God, we have the greater one living in us. He guides us into all truth so we can guide our affairs with discretion. We are able to tell right from wrong and choose the right, no matter how honey-coated or masked the wrong is. Hallelujah. Just as God has said, I place before you life and death, And I counsel you to choose life. Hallelujah. Take advantage of the spirit of God in you for all affairs of life. Day-to-day decisions, where to live, where to work, what business to do, who to marry, what and where to invest, excelling in school, name it, anything at all. Hallelujah. 1 John 2.20, but you have an anointing from the Holy One and you know all things. Wow. As a believer, you are one with God. There is no barrier between your spirit and the spirit of God. So your spirit is in open communication with the spirit of God. You know all things. Hallelujah. You see, but if you don't give your spirit ascendancy over your soul and your body, you don't get much or anything from your spirit, which already knows everything. We won't have time to dive into that topic today, but more and more, we should be paying attention to our spirits. That's the real us. Your spirit is the real you. Say this with me. I am led by the spirit. He guides me into all truth. I have an anointing from the Holy One. And I know all things. I guide my affairs with discretion. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me for 365 Days of the Righteous Day 102. Let's connect again tomorrow. 
and i'm looking forward to sharing with you have a blessed day you are already blessed